Rick, I need you on camera. You're not playing hot. Yeah, yeah, dude. When he said, Rick's hiding. Yeah, but when he when he said your two names, you might as well get them on that one. There they are. That's Bam. What's up, y'all? Yeah. yeah. Owner yeah. of the studio with Conscious Rick. Studios. With Rick, NASA space station, uh, <laughs> helm controller. He tries to hide. He tries to hide in the motherfucking corner and stuff, but Rick and I have uh, Rick. Rick's a dope engineer, man. Which I, which I guess is good because he's like for the chosen few. Yeah, it's not easy to get along with me. I'll be honest. You got Rick. Tell the story of when we first recorded at <laughs> Babyface's studio. Come on, my manager had a studio, but we didn't have an engineer, so I was up there recording. I'm eating a banana because it's got a lot of potassium and stuff, and it's organic. They told me. So um, <laughs> that's an organic banana. <laughs> so anyway, so I I, I got a, I got a recommendation. So I didn't even know him. I was like, yo, you want to do a session or whatever? Rick does his research about me. Who the fuck is this white kid rapping and shit? Like, I don't know. I think he did beats for Jay-Z and all that shit. So he comes in. Go ahead. It's all you. Take it! Um, so <laughs> I show up at the session not knowing what to expect. Um, Russell gets in the booth. Um, and I'm on this board, which is totally not wired correctly. Whack. The board was not set up right. No disrespect, Mike, board. but it wasn't. Mike McCoy wasn't. The studio is just <laughs> wired all backwards, and uh, so Russell first gets into the booth and basically starts shouting and screaming that everything's wrong, hits the microphone in fury, and says he can't work like this. <laughs> I did. Nice. But, but I'm going to be honest. Let me be really honest. Okay. I was kind of learning my craft at that point of, 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 of rapping and shit like that. Not, not making beats. And like, I wasn't really feeling it that day, so I took it out on the fucking mic. I took it out on the engineer, see, I can look at my part. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at my motherfucking part. Um, no, so yeah, but that, that's why. And then Rick was like, you handled it well, though. You're like, yo, are you okay? I was like, yeah, man, it's, it's not you. It's not you. Yeah. You know? Mm, yeah. So I felt, felt better. He knew it was the room. And yeah, everything was cool pretty much after that, but it was close to walking out. Close to walking out. Close to walked out, but he didn't. He didn't, because you know why? Because when defeat's staring you in the face, victory's right around the corner, and I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs>